Oh, I didn't see you there. This is Jazz in Motion. What I'm about to show you is Jazz, but more specifically, questions that concern Jazz. This could include, what is Jazz? And, who is your favorite Jazz musician? But more complex issues, such as, what is the future of Jazz, will be addressed. I have a subject named Jeremy. He is a musician, band leader, in within Sydney, who works at the Jazz Workshop. What I hope to show to you today, not only that Jazz is alive and running, but more so, that it is relevant to our current music industry. This is Jazz in Motion. I am here with Jeremy Rose of the Jazz Workshop. How are you, Jeremy? <laughs> I'm all right. He is the co-leader of the Vampires and recently released a solo album called Within Without. So first of all, how long have you been playing jazz for? Uh, since I was quite young. Maybe since I was 10 or 11. So what do you think the reason for playing jazz? What was like the impetus sort of? Well, I'm really drawn to improvising. Yeah, to be able to be involved in the creative process right from the very start uh, through improvisation, spontaneous composition. It's a really exciting thing. And uh, for me, being able to connect with audiences um, kind of felt, it, was, it gave me a really great feeling. It was kind of like a drug actually. So, what's one of your favourite jazz albums, songs, you know, it doesn't have to be particular, just maybe a musician you think's great or an album or a song? Uh, well, I love the music of John Coltrane, uh, Sonny Rollins, Thelonious Monk, Miles Davis, uh, you know, the, the usual names. Uh, yeah, Duke Ellington, so, yeah, all of it man, there's only, there's only good, good music and bad music and so it's hard to pinpoint. Here's an incoming fact from The Fact Man. Here's a little fact about John Coltrane. He actually once started his own church called the Church of St. John William Coltrane. Now that is a religion. I wouldn't mind joining. So what do you think of the current um, music culture of Australia um, in terms of jazz? Do you think that people are more so looking towards the past or do you think it's more towards the future? You know, like um, sort of playing, just playing old standards or like trying to come up with something new? Uh, there's, I think there's, um, there's many different scenes in, in Sydney, uh, or around Australia I should say. Um, there are people that are doing uh, great things, performing uh, jazz-derived music from the 50s, from the 60s, uh, and then there's there's a whole creative um, um, and it sort of and uh, a scene of, of an eclectic mix of different genres. And I believe that's where some of the most exciting music is happening here in Australia. So what do you think is your take on like maybe the mental aspect of jazz, for example, like pressure in like a kind of more like sort of like bad way, like not an encouraging way, like sort of like whiplash, like as we saw like um, J.K. Simmons and Miles Teller. What do you think of those? Like, think it's good, bad? Yeah, I don't think it's very uh, supportive of the, the students, you know, jazz music is um, is a music that really embraces the, the, the concept of freedom both in um, being able to create and express yourself and be an individual but also in the what some of the the, uh, the, the so, social and co cultural values that the music has embodied by its pl performers over the over the last century uh, so I don't see how being a strict disciplinarian uh, can have a positive effect on, on a student. So final question, why do you think some people don't understand jazz? Well, jazz is, can be quite, quite an abstract art form compared to uh, other styles with, with lyrics, you know, jazz, instrumental jazz, um, can seem quite, quite busy and um, 
overly intellectual. So if you're someone that has never been exposed to it, you've never seen it within the context of a live performance, um, and you've never heard it before, it, it might take some getting used to. So it really also depends on, on the type of person, whether they're open to, to um, sounds and, and, and experimental art forms or not. I guess it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, right? So, you know, not everyone likes avant-garde music, not everyone's going to like jazz, not everyone's going to like, you know, normal Hot 100 pop music, you know, it's all a matter of taste, but I guess it's, it's no harm to, like, try and get into it and just explore. So thanks, Jeremy, for uh, the interview, and hope to... Thanks, Michael. Thank you.